Greetings to everyone out there in the No DQ galaxy. Welcome to NoDQ.com's predictions video for the greatest Royal Rumble of all time. Coming up this Friday in Saudi Arabia on the WWE Network. It is scheduled to be, I believe, a seven-hour show. There's lots of title matches, a 50-man greatest Royal Rumble. It is going to be an event, no doubt about it. So let's go ahead and introduce our esteemed panel members today. First, the reigning and defending Wrestling Trivia Challenge champion, Greg Cherry. Greg, how are you feeling about this pay-per-view? What's your excitement level from a scale of 1 to 10? Well, I mean, I'm a Royal Rumble guy, and I always have been, so naturally I'm looking forward to the 50-man match. I, I think the rest of the show will be good. I'm actually looking forward to the show. Some people are writing it off because Backlash is shortly after. I think it will be a good show. Whether or not we get any surprises remains to be seen, but I, I'm excited to see it. All right, and we also have the greatest columnist in NoDQ.com history. He's doing a lot of other projects in addition to that. Mr. Virtue's Rage, how's it going, sir? How are you looking forward to this pay-per-view? One, ten, where, where's your scale for this? Five, five or six, because I'm not going to be able to watch it live. I'm going to be working all day, so I won't, I'll have to stay off of social media. I won't be able to watch it until about 6 p.m., here, here's the thing, since we don't have Jeff Meacham on, you said the greatest Royal Rumble of all time. It's the greatest Royal Rumble. The greatest Royal Rumble of all time is 1992. So let me correct you there. I mean, other than Reigns and Lesnar, and, and is Reigns going to win the universal title and, and maybe the Rumble match, like Greg said, I don't have interest in any of the other matches, especially yeah. now that they took Jericho out of the casket match. <laughs> all right, well, we'll, we'll get to that more here in a few minutes. Jeffrey, Big Jeffrey's also here with us to talk about the greatest Royal Rumble. So, Jeffrey, how excited are you for the show on a scale of one to ten? I'm gonna go with the seven. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how it is, and then later on, then I'll see. Maybe I'll give it something different. I am very intrigued by this show. I will say that I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but I am curious to see how these matches play out, how the fans react to everything that's happening how big the crowd is will they sell out the venue there's been all this controversy about the ticket sales i'm curious about the stage there's just so many aspects of this show because it's it's breaking ground it's something we haven't seen before i am looking forward to it and i'm curious about how it plays out the matches themselves i feel like for the most part have just been thrown together but we'll go ahead and break down these matches one at a time and by the way for those of you that can take a break off of work or you're not working or whatever i will be doing live coverage as it happens uh noon actually i think the the kickoff starts at 11 eastern 8 a.m pacific time so stay tuned to nodq.com i will be doing live coverage and no dq live afterwards all right so there's a cruiserweight title match but we don't know who the opponent is for cedric alexander they're going to be doing a match this week right before the event to have an opponent set up to me, this feels like a throwaway match, but if it's Cedric, not Cedric Alexander, yeah, it's Cedric Alexander defending against somebody. I think if it's Mustafa Ali, maybe we'll see a title change since he lost at WrestleMania, uh, but it could be somebody else. Um, Virtue, any thoughts on this match? Who do you think is going to be the opponent? And if so, do you think there'll be a title change? Come on, Aaron. It's in Saudi Arabia. I, I don't know where Mustafa Ali is supposed to be from, but he's going to win. It's going to be a rematch of the kickoff show from WrestleMania, and Cedric Alexander is going to retain. So that's all. That, that's it for me. All right. All right. Greg? I, I mean, what else can you say other than that? I mean, they, if you're throwing together a number one contenders match three days before the event, I mean, it, it's hard-pressed to say that that guy's going to become a new champion. So Cedric Alexander retains. All right, and Big Jeffrey? Yeah, I'm going to get with you guys. I mean... It'll be a rematch from WrestleMania, most likely Mustafa Ali. It could be Buddy Murphy. It could be. It could even be um, Arya Davari, for all we know. Um, but I think Cedric's going to retain. All right. Well. well, I am going to agree with you guys, which means we'll most likely all be wrong. I'm going to say it's Mustafa Ali, and actually, uh, maybe he'll win the title. But I'll go ahead and just agree with you guys, just so it'll be funny when we're all wrong on this. They, they just have a, a title match set up at the last minute, and then there's a title change. Whatever. Uh, let's just all be wrong. I'd rather we all be wrong. That'll be funny that way. All right. Let's move on here. 
and talk about the actual big matches on the show. So first up, we have Triple H versus John Cena, which has no storyline build whatsoever. It's just two guys getting in there and having a match, two big names. Um, Jeffrey, let's start with you this time. Any thoughts on this match? Are you looking forward to it? Who do you think is going to win this one? Not, I mean, I guess I'm looking forward to it a little bit. I mean, we haven't seen Triple H and uh, John Cena in a ring since Night of Champions, I believe, like 2008, 2009, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think Cena's going to win this. He ne- he needs it more than Triple H does, to be honest. He lost against The Undertaker in that squash match at WrestleMania, and he's lost all the other matches. So I'm going to go with Cena winning this match. All right, Greg. Is he right about that? When was the last singles match those guys had, Mr. Trivia Champion? Singles match would be Night of Champions 2008. I know they had a triple threat also with Orton uh, that same year, or 2009, I guess that was that triple threat yeah. was. Survivor um, Series 2009 with uh, DX and John Cena. That's right. It was, it was yeah. Sean. I was, thinking, I was thinking the Orton triple threat. Um, but I think Cena wins this match. I bet this match opens the show, actually. Uh, because I want to start the crowd off hot, so they want to start them off with something big. So giving them Cena Triple H when it has no build works for that aspect. So I say Cena wins. Um, the dog thinks so too. And uh, uh, yeah, that's really all I got to say. Aren't you? Oh, man. Um, you know, why isn't Cena wrestling the Undertaker in the casket match? Okay, whatever. We got big issues we'll be talking about on that. Cena's going to win. Because, you know, he's lost pretty much how many pay-per-views in a row or big matches in a row. So I think considering this is a glorified house show and it's John Cena, Triple H will put him over. Um, it'll probably be dramatic. You know, there'll be some pet. He'll kick out of a pedigree or so. But in the end, Triple H, I- I'm going to say Triple H is going to tap. Ooh. I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Well, he has tapped before, so it could certainly happen again. Um, I hate to say it, but I agree with you guys. I want to I wanna go against the the – popular opinion here but yeah i think uh john cena's got this one it's hard to bet against john cena as i like to say and i think i think i think wwe is going to go by the books for the most part on this show i don't think we're going to see any real surprises in saudi arabia i'm going to agree with you guys and say john cena wins this one and uh, that's why i did talk about it first because i figured um i figured that it would open the show uh, it would be a good candidate to open the show, do something hot to start off the the event. All right, so we're all going with Cena. So far, we're all in agreement on these matches. Uh, next up, we have the match that Virtue's really looking forward to, uh, the casket match, The Undertaker versus Rusev. So originally, it was Rusev versus The Undertaker, and then Rusev said online, bury me, what was it, bury me softly, bury me slowly, something like that. Bury me softly, and then right. call, you know, old references on the TMZ video. Yeah, but apparently that wasn't the reason for the match change. Apparently Vince McMahon had an opinion about changing it up and wanted to do something different. So it was changed to Undertaker versus Chris Jericho. And then apparently Vince changed his mind again, and it went back to being um, The Undertaker versus Rusev. Um I know we've talked about this. I would have rather seen Undertaker and Chris Jericho, legend versus legend. Um, Greg, I don't believe they've ever had a pay-per-view match against each other one-on-one. Is that true? Undertaker and Jericho, no. They had that triple threat, actually the same triple threat, um, at Survivor Series 2009 with a big show. Um, yeah. they, they've actually barely wrestled each other one-on-one uh, in general. I think their first one-on-one match was in 2009 after Jericho had been with the company for 10 years. Right. Um, but but Undertaker Rusev, I mean, I don't like the fact that Rusev is going to lose this match. But I, maybe maybe I'm completely wrong and they pull some complete swerve and have... Uh-oh. Did we lose Greg? All right. Well, Greg is frozen, so... I think Greg was trying to say, unless there's some sort of uh, some sort of swerve, we're going to see the Undertaker win, which I tend to agree with. I mean, maybe on another show we would see a swerve where we would see we would see Rusev win, but I think this is going to be by the books, and WWE just wants to have you know like a house show. People are saying it's a glorified house show. The baby faces usually win, and Greg is completely gone now. It was nice knowing you, Greg. But anyways, um, 
I'm going to go with Undertaker to win this one. Uh, Virtue, your thoughts on this match? I know you've been very opinionated about this. So let's cut to the chase. Nobody was backstage with Vince McMahon or in meetings. They don't know exactly why he changed this match. I'm, you know, Aaron, with all due respect with what no DQ does, we don't always know exactly what happened. So first of all, Rusev, somebody pissed somebody off in the back and it was probably Rusev, what he said on Twitter. I mean, we could all be in, it could all be a work too, just to have the internet buzz over it. I get that. It doesn't matter whether it's Rusev or Jericho or even Cena. Taker's going to win this. I know he's lost casket matches before, but I just think with Rusev, it's probably going to be a fairly quick match because it's going to be such a long show. Vince McMahon always likes to have quick matches, whereas if it was Jericho in the match, I could have seen it go in nine or ten minutes because Jericho could stretch the Undertaker, protect them, not tire them out, have a little bit of drama. Rusev's going to get crushed, no pun intended. This will probably be... Less than five minutes from bell to bell. Rest in peace, Rusev Day. Yeah. Greg, back to you. All right. Well, um, Greg, so you're going with Undertaker then? I am going with Undertaker, yeah. I wasn't sure where I got cut off there, but yeah, I'm going with Taker. All right. Uh, Big Jeffrey, you want to go yeah. against you want to go against the popular opinion here or no? I'm going against you guys. Yeah. Oh. It's Undertaker and Rusev. It's gonna be a short match. It's in Saudi Arabia. It's in a foreign country. Um, I'm going with Rusev. To right. beat the Undertaker. Wait, please you're... tell me that. Please tell me that Cena is going to pull him down into the casket or something. I mean, if it's something like that happens, I'll give you Rusev. Seriously, <laughs> you are going with Rusev. Yes. <clears throat> Holy I'm crap! The only one out of the huh. books. Okay. I'm out All of right. The books. All right. So, so uh, <laughs> Jeffrey's living on the wild side here. Um, hey. I- I just turned 30, so I got to, right? Is that scotch? What are you drinking? No, it's iced tea. It's lemon. I was going to say, if you're drinking on the job, you're in trouble, buddy. <laughs> no, no, I'm not drinking on the job. All, right. All right, so uh, Jeffrey could very well win this whole predictions game because he's the one person going with Rusev, and WWE does swerve people. I mean, anything's possible, but I, I would legitimately be surprised. Not like Brock Lesnar, Undertaker, surprised, but... I think I would, would be quite shocked if Rusev did, in fact, win that match. All right. So let's move on here to the next match, which is uh, the Raw Tag Team title match. Uh, we have The Bar versus Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. And for this match, there's no champion right now. The, the titles are in a, you know, they're vacant. Vacant is currently holding the championships. Um so, The Bar, they have moved to SmackDown Live. Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt are a hot act right now. In my opinion, I think we're going to see Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt uh, win the tag team titles here. Um, Jeffrey, any thoughts on this match? Who do you think's winning the tag team titles? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with you on this one. Like, like you just said, The Bar is going to SmackDown Live now, and you're going to have the Woken Warriors, a.k.a. Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt, win the Raw tag team titles and possibly face the authors of pain. Who knows? Sounds about right. Sounds about right. All right, Virtue? Yes, the Woken Warriors will win. Even if uh, the bar stayed on Raw, I would have still chose that. So it's their time, their moment. And I don't know how long this will last, but, you know, I'm glad WWE did it. So they will win. With their little combination of the uh, Sister Abigail into Matt Hardy's move. Uh, what is that, Greg? Twist, Twist the fate. fate. Yeah, I think that, like, it's kind of weird because Bray really doesn't do anything, but that's how it's going to go down. What do you think? You know, I, I find it hard pressed that they move the bar to SmackDown just for them to win the tag team titles and go back to Raw because uh, they probably couldn't defend the SmackDown or the Raw tag team titles over on SmackDown. Uh, so I'm, I'm agreeing with you guys, uh, Hardy and Wyatt to win. All right. Sounds good. So, uh, yeah, except for the, uh, the casket match, we're all in agreement on everything. You know, Jeffrey's attitude is like either – Either he wins it all or the rest of us win and tie. So that, that's his attitude right now. All right. Next up, we have the SmackDown Tag Team title match. We have the Bludgeon Brothers defending against the Usos. So this one is interesting. The Bludgeon Brothers just won the tag team titles, and the Usos have been booked kind of weak against the Bludgeon Brothers as of late. Um, Jey Uso lost to, I believe, Harper on SmackDown Live. Um, so, yeah. 
It, it's really interesting how this match is being booked. It feels like with the Usos being portrayed as underdogs that they're going to somehow uh, regain the titles here. I'm trying to think about how the other teams coming to SmackDown can play into this. Uh, what are going to be the future uh, feuds? The Bar, they are heels right now. Um, and I could see them being the top tag team on SmackDown. So it is possible the Usos could regain the titles here and it doesn't affect the brand split with the titles or anything uh, since it doesn't matter which team wins, they're both on SmackDown. Um, so I'm not sure about this one. I think this might be the toughest match for me to predict personally. Um, Greg, let's start with you. Um, your thoughts on this match. Who do you think's going over? This match, I think I'm going to choose... I'm going to choose the Usos to win the titles back. Um, and I think an Usos versus the Bar feud um, will be awesome because I really enjoyed their Survivor Series match against each other. And I think if they had an actual drawn-out feud, it could bring those four guys all to an even higher level than they already are. So I'm going to say that the Usos upset the Bludgeon Brothers and become the new tag team champions. All right. Jeffrey? Um... I'm going against the books again on this one. Nothing against the Usos. The Usos are my favorite tag team right now, but I think the Bludgeon Brothers are going to retain, and then they're going to face a babyface sanity when they come up. That, that could very well happen. All right, Virtue. Bludgeon Brothers are going to retain, because how do you build these guys up, squash matches, win the titles, and then all of a sudden they lose it at the greatest Royal Rumble event? I'm not buying it, and I think it, it could get interesting because I could see maybe Naomi get in the way. They're obvi I don't know if they'll do something like that at the Greatest Royal Rumble. That might be uh, an angle I'm, for SmackDown. I don't, think, I don't think they can. Yeah, they oh, can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, there you go. That's another interesting point. No women will be at this show because it's Saudi Arabia. But there's still no way the Bludgeon Brothers are going to lose. I mean, because then you're they're done. You, you lose clean to the Usos. No disrespect, but... How do you build them up to that point just to lose at a glorified house show? And right. Jeffrey's agreeing with me. I knew he would. All right. Well, um, maybe Naomi will be disguised. Ooh, there just, you go. Just, just kidding. She'll, she'll wear an afro and uh, have a mustache and beard and all that stuff. All right. Well, I am going to uh, somewhat agree with Greg. I think the Usos will win. However... I don't think they're going to win the titles. I think it will be a DQ. I think the Bludgeon Brothers will use their rubber mallets, and that will lead to a disqualification, and then they will have another match at Backlash. That is my official prediction for the match. Usos, but by DQ. All right. Moving on here, we have the United States Championship match. Jeff Hardy defending against my favorite wrestler, Jinder Mahal. All right, Virtue, let's start with you. Your thoughts. I mean, Jeff Hardy uh, won the United States title on Raw when Jinder Mahal was drafted over to Raw. And then on SmackDown, Jeff Hardy was drafted to SmackDown. And now the U.S. champion is back on SmackDown. So let me ask you this. What happened with Randy Orton? Because didn't he win a number one contenders match? Did they just pull him from Ra that? Randy Orton is facing the champion at Backlash. Okay, so that's how they're going to do that. So on SmackDown, we had Randy Orton come out. He was going to accept the challenge. And then all of a sudden, Jeff Hardy came out and stole Randy's thunder, which makes me think that's the new direction. And I think Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton is a much stronger match than Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal. So Virtue, uh, with all that being said, your thoughts on the match? Yeah, they're not. I mean, I once thought maybe the U.S. title would go back to Raw with Jinder and then you know someone on SmackDown would win the Intercontinental title. I'm going to scrap that. Jeff Hardy's going to retain. That's what Jinder is now, a glorified foreign heel jobber. And Jeff's going to retain so he can have that feud with Randy Orton. And I hope, hope uh, that Randy turns heel out of all this. Uh, Jinder will go back to Raw and be uh, somebody for Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns to beat up weekly. Pretty much. All right. Uh, Jeffrey? Um, I'm going to agree with Virtue. I think Hardy's going to retain. Um, I think Hardy needs to come back with his old theme song, the No More Words, instead of the Hardy song that they have now. Um, yeah, Hardy's going to retain, and he'll have a good food with Randy Orton down the road. Yeah, I totally agree on that. I, I would like to see Jeff Hardy come back with that old theme song. I mean, he was he was arguably at the peak of his popularity with that theme song. I mean, the, the song he has, the classic Hardy song, is great and all, but I think that the, yeah. the No More no More Words was even better. Um, I'm agreeing with you guys. I'm also going to go with uh, Jeff Hardy to retain here. 
All right, Greg, it's on you. Are you going to go against the popular opinion? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying Jeff Hardy wins here. I mean, there's... Does it really benefit Mahal to win the title, especially if the Intercontinental title stays on Raw? Because then he'll just lose it back to Orton at Backlash. It's like, okay, how many times is the United States title going to move in a month? So I'd say Jeff, yeah, I'd say Jeff Hardy uh, retains. Yeah, I, I would be really disappointed if Jinder wins, and then it's Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton again at Backlash, and then I don't know if they're gonna they could they could theoretically switch the titles, but then. Jinder Mahal would have to beat Orn and they'd have to do the same thing with Samir Singh interfering. I just, I really hope that doesn't happen. I'm going to be angry. You're going to have angry Aaron Rift if uh, Jinder Mahal wins the United States title. I might, I might have the camera do one of those live reaction videos and just throw something at the wall, break a TV or something if Jinder Mahal wins. Yeah, I'm, I, I really hope that doesn't happen. So I hope for our sake, my sake, my sanity, I hope that uh, Jeff Hardy retains. So we're all going with Jeff. Uh, let's go to the next match here, which is the Intercontinental title match, uh, ladder match. We still got several matches to go here, so this is a very long, long show and a, a very uh, lengthy card. So the IC title ladder match, once again, no buildup. It's just pretty much thrown together. It, it's basically a WrestleMania rematch with Samoa Joe thrown into the mix. So I guess you really don't need that much build, but they haven't. They haven't hyped it up on TV that much other than Joe cutting the promo about being the IC champion. So it's Seth Rollins defending against Finn Balor, The Miz, and Samoa Joe. I think this has a, a good chance of being the match of the night. This, this could be a really fun ladder match, although they do have, they do have um, a big match they have to follow up, and that's the NXT ladder match. We'll see if these guys can uh, deliver a match of that caliber. It, it, it's going to be tough. I mean, if they had no limitations... I certainly think they could. Um, I'm not expecting a title change here. I think I think Seth Rollins is going to retain the title. It's going to be by the books. Um, Jeffrey, your thoughts on this match? Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. I think Rollins is going to retain. And he just won it at WrestleMania. Um, it'll be a good match. It'll have to definitely follow the ladder match at NXT TakeOver New Orleans. Um, yeah, uh, Greg? I, 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 again, the fact that they have this so close to backlash makes it seem like all of these are obvious. So I, I, I have to go with Seth Rollins. It, it's either Rollins or The Miz has to win this match. Because if Balor wins, then you just have to make it a triple threat at backlash. If Joe wins, the Intercontinental title's on SmackDown. So uh, I have to go with Rollins for this one. All right. Yep. Same. Same here, and think about it. The only there really isn't a title change yet, other than there's going to be new Raw tag champs, but there has to be. So I'm going to go. Rollins is going to retain. I mean, we'll have some close moments. Balor will get up there and touch the belt. Uh, you know, it protects like Joe and Miz too, because in a ladder match, if you lose it, it's not like it's a huge loss because there's multiple people in it. You're not getting pinned. You're not submitting. Rollins, burn it down. All right. There we go. Next up, we have the WWE Championship match. AJ Styles defending against Shin, a.k.a. Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, I hope AJ Styles wears a cup in this match because he has been the victim of several low blows, courtesy of the artist. Um, so this one's interesting, too, because um, I, I don't know if we're going to see a title change on this particular show, but I think we could see Nakamura win the title at some point. I just don't think it's going to be on this show. So, Virtue, let's start with you. Do you think we're going to see a title change here in the WWE Greatest Royal Rumble? Well, not this match. AJ's going to retain. And I, I'm going to, for some reason, you wouldn't think this is what Nakamura would do. He's going to try to low blow AJ. And the rest going to, I mean, just when you think, oh, my God, we're going to have a new champion, he'll try to do that move. And I think that he'll get caught. It'll He'll be disqualified, which will allow... Miz, or not Miz, I wish the Miz was a champ, AJ to retain, and then I think it'll bring more heat to Nakamura as a heel that he's really trying to cheat to beat AJ, and it's going to make that low blow the spotlight, so I'm going to go no title change, though. Nakamura's going to get caught. I like it. All right, Jeffrey. Big G. All right. Well, I'm sticking with you guys. AJ's going to retain. Um, Nakamura has been getting some good heat lately since he's turned heel, you know. With the whole low, bowl, uh, low, low blows here and there. Um, if he does win the title, it'll eventually maybe be down the road like SummerSlam time. All right, uh, Greg? 
I have to go with AJ to retain here. I think perhaps Shinsuke goes for the low blow and like he hits the low blow, but AJ just stares at him because he's wearing a cup. He's like, uh-uh, I'm, I'm ready for you this time. Hits him with a clash and beats him. I, I, I like it. I, I think that that is a very solid booking idea where Nakamura does the low blow, but only this time AJ's wearing the cup and then Nakamura's plan backfires on him. But um, So you're all going with AJ Styles. I'm actually going to go different. I'm going to change things up here. I'm going to pull a, a Jeffrey and, and go against the popular opinion. I'm going to say AJ Styles gets DQ'd and AJ's going to hit a low blow on Nakamura to cause a disqualification, a little bit of payback. I think that's going to happen, and Nakamura will win by DQ, and then they'll have their their final match, maybe a no DQ match, um, all all low blows or legal match at at the Backlash pay per view. So there you I think go. Aaron won that one. That was a good pick. Yeah, I, I mean, it could go, watch it. Watch it's just something completely different yeah, from what that's we cool, just that's said. Cool. But I I'll like, be rooting for the Nakamura low blow when he's caught, so uh, I, I'm interested in this one now. I like it, too. I like the idea of a low blow being the factor here. I, I'm okay with a DQ one way or another, whether AJ yep. does the low blow or Nakamura does not AJ's wearing a cup. Either way, I think the low blow is a good way to keep the feud going and do one more match at Backlash. I'd be, I'd be totally fine with that. All right. So now we have the Universal Title Steel Cage match. Brock Lesnar defending against Roman Reigns. So the question is, does Roman Reigns, the big dog, finally beat Brock Lesnar? Or is Roman going to lose yet again to Lesnar? Now, I was surprised at WrestleMania by the outcome. I would be really surprised if Reigns lost again. It's going to be in Saudi Arabia. This is the best shot WWE has of Reigns winning the title and getting a positive reaction from the fans, unless the Saudi Arabia fans hate Reigns too. That's one thing I'm really curious about. Will the fans react to Reigns? I mean, the interesting thing about the ticket sales is that the families are getting the best seats in the house, which has been a really controversial decision. So you're going to have a lot of kids, a lot of family members close to ringside. Um, I just feel like it's going to be Reigns' night. Um, Greg, let's start with you. Do you think we're going to have a title change? Or what do you think is going to happen here? It's a steel cage match. Could we see... Could we see a pinfall? Will Reigns win by escaping the cage? What do you think is going to happen? I'm actually going to go with Lesnar retaining. Whoa. I know, I know. Because, I mean, people are like the whole Reigns build up. But you have to think, Reigns is facing Joe at Backlash. And are you going to really have a universal championship match that is cross-brand? Because then you'd have to believe either Reigns wins or Joe wins and comes back to Raw. So I'm going to say that Lesnar retains and keeps the Universal Championship through another couple months before he faces somebody else. Right. So when you say it, retains, let's just let's just clarify. When you say retains, you mean Lesnar is going to win the match. Yes. Okay. All right, Jeffrey, you going to agree with Greg, or you got a different opinion? Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, uh, Lesnar retaining. I mean, he just signed a new contract for how long? I don't know. But he could have some fresh opponents down the road and then lose it to whoever he faces. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with Lesnar winning. Wow. All right. Virtue. No, I've already seen prototypes of the toys down Walmart aisle, and it's Roman Reigns with the Universal Championship belt in there. I'm, I just made that up. He's winning. Roman's winning it. He was supposed to win it at Mania. They decided to fool people. Uh, he's never had that title. He's Vince's. He is Vince's guy. He's winning it. I don't know how many spears it'll take, but this is it for Brock. And and the thing is with Brock, he gets this ridiculous contract, whatever he has for however long it is, and they'll figure out something with Brock down the road. He doesn't always need that universal title, but this is Reigns' moment, and he will beat Joe at Backlash, and we will be in now that Reigns era where Reigns will be winning every match for probably the next year. There you got it. Well, I agree with you, Virtue, about Reigns winning. I think Reigns will win. Now, he might not necessarily win by pinfall. It is a cage match, so you could theoretically have Reigns climb over and win the cage match that way so Brock is not pinned. This would be a way for, for Brock to lose without actually taking a pinfall loss. Um, so I'm going to say Reigns wins by escaping the cage. Now, maybe if WWE really wants to book Reigns strong, he will pin Brock Lesnar in the cage. Uh, but I do think Reigns is going to win, and Virtue, like you said, I think I think Joe will do the job at Backlash, and then 
Joe will be rebooted as the top heel on SmackDown and Reigns will have a solid um, title defense against Joe and then move forward against uh, whoever's next on, on the list. All right. You know, Aaron, I want to bring this up. So many people were, they expected Reigns to win that title at WrestleMania. And it's like so many people were mad that that didn't happen because, well, we knew for the last six months that was going to happen. And I think that pisses the fans off more when WWE does what they don't expect. But this in this situation, they're going to finally pull the trigger. Yeah, I, I, I think so, too. I, I would, like I said, I would be really shocked if, if Reigns did not win. But, you know, WrestleMania... We saw that anything can happen. However, with this show, I feel like it, it's going to be more by the book, and it, it's not going to have <laughs> any kind of like curveballs or anything like that. But anything yeah. is possible, though. All right, so now we have the 50-man Greatest Royal Rumble match. I have a bunch of names here, including <clears throat> Daniel Bryan, Braun Strowman, uh, Big Show, Chris Jericho, Kurt Angle, and I'm sure a lot of other guys. I'm sure there will be some guys pulling double duty, so you have a full 50-man roster for this match. So what I'm going to do here for the predictions is everybody will get three picks. If your first pick wins, you get three points. If your second pick wins, you get two points. If your third pick wins, you get one point. So everybody, think about your three names, your first pick, second pick, and third pick. I will go ahead and go first here so you guys have a few moments to think oh, about it. Oh, of course it. you will. Of course you will. And I know you're picking number one. Go ahead. What is okay. it? Okay. Well, my number one pick is... Braun Strowman. I'm going with Strowman to win. He's the beast. He's the monster. I think winning this Greatest Royal Rumble will do wonders for his career. So Braun Strowman is my number one pick. My number two pick is going to be uh, Daniel Bryan because Daniel Bryan is coming back. He's made this uh, this big return to WWE. Um, he doesn't really need the win, but I could see you know Bryan winning and the crowd doing the yes chance and everything. Um, I, I like Brian's chances of winning this. He's he's one of the clear top stars in this matchup. My third pick, I'm thinking about doing one out of left field for my final pick here. Some someone that might not necessarily be a favorite to win, um, and that's Chris Jericho. I'm going with Jericho because Jericho has never won a Royal Rumble match, and I think it would be cool for Jericho just to have that win. Doesn't really do anything because he's a part timer right now, but still just. Just as a, as a nod to Jericho, and this is, you know, a random Royal Rumble thrown together, but at least Chris Jericho could say he won a Royal Rumble match. So Jericho's my third pick to win. Now, who would like to go second here with their predictions? All right, Virtue, let's do this. It's your three, but I changed the order. So my third pick is Chris Jericho. At one point, I wanted to pick him just for the heck of it. But, you know, I, but I... Strowman's my second pick. This is Daniel Bryan's baby, in my opinion. Now, if I would have went with Braun if Bryan wasn't back, but Daniel Bryan number one, Braun Strowman number two, Y two J number three. That simple. All right, Jeff. Yes. Virtue stole the words right out of my mouth. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's, That's why I, I wanted to go yeah. first and then second because I knew. Yeah, Daniel Bryan first, Braun Strowman second, and Chris Jericho third. All right. right out of my mouth. All right, Greg, let's see your, your picks. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go slightly different and, and just work with me. Daniel Bryan first. All right. Braun Strowman second. Third, Roman Reigns. Interesting. So you, you think he's Because it's not, it's not for a title shot. It's just for, yeah. like, a trophy. So I figure, like... I figure Roman, Lesnar, and AJ and Shinsuke are all going to be in that match because it's not for a title opportunity. It's just a 50-man match. So I figure Roman doesn't beat Brock, but he wins the Royal Rumble. Yeah. What happens if Kurt Angle wins this? Nobody picked Kurt. Poor Kurt. I, om I almost went with Kurt, honestly. But I'd be okay with Kurt if Kurt Angle won. That'd be fine, I'm too. surprised no one picked Triple H. Nah. <laughs> he already has two wins. He doesn't need another one. You know what? Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm changing. I, now that I think about it, I'm changing my second pick. I, I don't know about Brian winning. I'm going to say John Cena wins as the second pick. I'm going with John Cena as my second pick because... Nice. So do you bump Jericho out or do you bump Brian off your list? I'm, I'm bumping Brian out because I feel Ooh. like Brian... It, it would be cool if he won, but I don't know. I don't think WWE is going to give us that feel-good moment. I, I would like to see it personally. Him or but Strowman... See, that's what gives all of us... 
that's what gives all of us who pick Brian the advantage. It's not for anything. So yeah. well, WWE can't they can do it because it's but not for anything. You, how do you end the greatest Royal Rumble? I mean, who's the biggest mainstream star? Is it John Cena or Daniel Bryan? It's arguably John Cena is the biggest <laughs> worldwide star. You end the Saudi Arabia Royal Rumble with the biggest mainstream star standing tall at the end. Um, and you know what? Nah, I'll say John, I'll say John Cena wins twice. I'll say he beats Triple H and wins the as the second pick. But Braun Strowman's still my first pick. I'll still okay. go Strowman is number one. All right. So there, we, we uh, changed. You're saying a he's bit. a big mainstream star, Braun? Um, Interesting. Oh, man. But I get, I get what you're saying. I just think Braun Strowman makes sense. You know, a big guy winning the Royal Rumble, that makes yeah, logical well, sense. You're going to get called out in the comments for calling Daniel Bryan a B-plus player. Probably. But just kidding. Just kidding. I just want to say I would like to see Bryan win. But I, 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 I'm thinking that it's not going to happen. I just wanted to be different too from you guys and make sure we have a decisive winner for this this prediction video. I think video. we will. I think we will too. So uh, that'll wrap it up for our predictions video. Let's go ahead and do the plugs. Uh, Big Jeffrey, you're first. All right. Well, you guys can follow me now at NoDQ underscore Big Jeff on Twitter and on Instagram, and I'm on Facebook as well. All right, man. All right, uh, Virtue. Follow me on Twitter. At no DQ underscore virtue, and the rest will be history. All right, Greg. Greg. Follow me on Twitter at PA Sensation. Episode three of this coming next week. The first two episodes of season four are already up. So let's see who f- comes and uh, faces me next week for this championship. Well, you know what, Jeffrey? You've been uh, wanting a match with Greg. <laughs> I mean, do you want to be the next one in line? You can challenge Absolutely. him right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. There you go, then. Set, right. it, set it up. We'll right. do it next week. All right, we'll set it up. We'll set it up and see if uh, Big Jeffrey can uh, accept the challenge. Maybe maybe Greg's dog will, will accept the challenge. He's watched a yeah, lot maybe. of WWE. <laughs> All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for this predictions video. Thank you very much for watching. Check out NoDQ.com for the very latest, and we will see you guys next time.